Operators are symbols that perform operations on variables and values. When you add two numbers together, the plus sign is an operator. But what if you have a custom type? Regular addition isn't going to work. Operator overloading means that you can make it work. You can implement your own logic for how the plus symbol should operate on your objects. Other languages like Java don't support this, and for good reason. It's a controversial feature. Let's say you have a vector. Not a standard vector, but a physics vector with a direction and magnitude. If you were to overload the multiplication operator, it wouldn't be clear if this is going to perform a dot product or cross product. If you just used a normal function instead, you'd know what it was by looking at the name. I've also seen operator overloading used in very weird ways. Standard file system path from the standard library overloads the forward slash to represent the path separator. A lot of developers find this very jarring, because the forward slash is typically thought of as being used for division. But in this case, it's being used for concatenation, which is an operation that is more conventionally associated with the addition symbol. In other words, it's using the division symbol to add things together. Another weird thing you can do is overload the ampersand symbol operator, which is meant to give you the address of the object. You can overload it and just return a random number. Now anybody who uses the ampersand symbol thinks that they're getting the memory address of the object, but they're just getting the number 2. Every time. And if they try to dereference it, they'll probably get a segmentation fault or something. So if you want the real address of an object without any tricks, you shouldn't use the ampersand operator. Instead, use the function standard address of. But then like, what was even the point of the address operator to begin with? To add insult to injury, classes in the standard library, which you would expect to overload the address operator, like standard reference wrapper, don't even overload it. The entire language is filled to the brim with inconsistencies, paradoxes, and solutions to the problems which it created itself. And by the way, don't get standard address of mixed up with standard to address. It looks similar and it's easy to get them mixed up, but it's actually completely different. The insanity doesn't end here though. You can also override the new keyword, delete keyword, and the comma operator. But that's enough talk about operator overloading. 